I'm Jeff Parks and I'm a Habitat Naturalist with the City of Gainesville's Nature Operations Division. What you see behind me is a camphor tree, Cinnamomum camphora. It's a native of Eastern Asia that was brought over to Florida in about 1875. It is widely established now in uh, dry hammock situations in North and Central Florida. It grows to be a large tree, can be up to 75 feet high. Uh, record trees have had a circumference of 31 feet around. It generally has one main trunk, but often has uh, larger secondary trunks that come off of it, and it grows a very dense, shady canopy. One of the most characteristic features of the camphor tree is its strong odor. The twigs in the leaves, when you crush them, have an unmistakable odor of camphor. It's kind of a menthol medicinal smell. You really can't miss it. So as you can see, the trunk of this camphor tree has a rough bark with these furrows that go up and down, or grooves that go up and down the tree. A lot of the trees have multiple trunks. So for example here, this is a tree that's been damaged, and uh, you can see that this fallen part of the trunk is actually growing a lot of these vigorous adventitious shoots all along its length. And all those shoots can form a pretty large trunk. The vegetative parts of the camphor tree that is, the twigs, the leaves, all have a smooth surface. Camphor tree leaves are glossy green above, and they're duller in color below. Newly formed leaves are often reddish. The leaves of the camphor tree are simple and occur alternately on the stem. The leaves have smooth, entire margins that are often wavy. Camphor tree leaves are one and a half to four inches long, usually one to two inches wide. The leaves are ovate with a long pointed tip. One way to distinguish camphor leaves from other similar plants is that they often have prominent lateral veins that come off of the main vein just near the base of the leaf. The flowers are small, greenish white to cream, and they're in loose panicles on branchlets. Mature camphor trees produce abundant fruits, which are small, pea-sized droops, which have a single seed. They start off green and later turn black. The fruits sit on persistent floral tubes, which you can see at the base of the fruit. Now, a camphor tree can produce a lot of seeds. And because of that, it can dominate an area very quickly with its seedlings. And because the birds carry seeds over fairly long distances, a lot of Florida's hammocks have been invaded by camphor trees.